Cerrone. Shanghai. That's a, that's a Singapore. Big, so, or sorry, yeah. I'm going to start to be Cowboy Cerrone. Yeah. This is the kind of opponent, the name valued opponent that you've wanted for a long time. How's prep going for him? Camp's going great. Um, it's one of the best camps I've been in. Like I said, Tom Breeze is on the team as well. And everyone's working together to get the same job done. So his camp is going good. It's a fight I've been looking for for quite some time now. I called Cowboy out for a while now. And I get to go out there and prove it while I've been calling him out. And June 23rd, I'll show that. You uh, flew out to Shanghai, didn't you? And you meet your favorite cowboy? Yeah. And how was that experience? What did you think of the country? Um, Singapore is a, is a beautiful place. Um, very hot. For things like 32, when I went out there. And I was like, in May, so it's, it's a very hot country, but it's a beautiful place, and uh, I, I like it out there. I look forward to competing out there um, soon, in four weeks, five weeks. So. How, how are you finding the, the overall kind of responsibility, you know, the media attention and doing more interviews, like even now? Is this yeah, yeah. on schedule, but you're here to talk to us? Exactly. It is what it is. I, I take it with a, with a pinch of salt, so I think I'm enjoying the fights, and a lot of media won't hurt nobody, so it, it is what it is. It doesn't bother me. You, your brother, Fabian, suffered yeah. a hand injury in his last fight. Did, yeah. Does that change anything in terms of the way you who you're going to be working with in the lead up to this fight? Well, my brother will come out there early with me to, um, to train, and well, obviously can't come now. He'll come, come out the corner, but he won't come out early with me to train, so I'll bring someone else out with me to train, but that's, that's about it, really. He'll still be there, he'll still be cornering me. Um, my brother's a southpaw, cowboy and a southpaw, so it doesn't make a big difference anyway, so it is what it is. Uh, I know you guys recently moved out of the UTC kind of yeah. facility. Um, what happened there? Like, why, why did you move? And I know you're training with Tom Breeze yeah. here. Yeah, 100%. It's basically UTC closed down. Um, my coaches, my team, we all went to, um, to Renegade. With me, I joined, Tom was training for us. I know it's me, Tom, my brother, Yannick, we've got loads of, loads of good guys over there. So we're all now based in one gym. So to, instead of traveling in Birmingham, we're all just all at one gym now. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. You've just seen Tom uh, win by spectacular. <laughs> Very nervous when you're watching your brother in yeah. the Is it the same with Tom? How, do you, how could you be in this middleweight division? Um, it's exactly the same. I, I, was getting I get more nervous watching my teammates and my, my, my brother fight more than me fighting. I, 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 don't, I don't find it hard at all, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I, I think Tom's one of the best fighters I've trained, with, I've trained with. I've been to AKA, I've been to many places, and Tom's one of the best I've trained with. Technically, he's one of the best, you know what I mean? So, I feel he got very far to go in this middleweight division and he, he'll dominate. Hopefully, hope, yeah, hopefully. Like, I'm on a far, far win streak now, so hopefully, after I go out there, I'll prove why I've been calling this guy out and put him away. And hopefully, I'd like to get a show like this in Birmingham. This would be amazing, you know what I mean? I fit a bit, bit to Birmingham like once back in like, I was like 6, 17, so it would be amazing to bring him back to Birmingham, and I, I would love that. Back in London, I know you were trying to chase that Darren Till fight. Yeah. Um, regardless of the outcome in tonight's main event, is that sort of fight that you'd like to um, you know, get one day? Um, not really. I'm not really chasing Darren Till. You know what I mean? I'm chasing the bout. I, I was for our best welterweight in, in, in the country, and I just wanted to prove it tonight. But they gave him Wonder Boy, so it is what it is. I got a task ahead, ahead of me, Cerrone, and I'll put him away, and I want someone else. But if he loses, I don't want him, so it depends how the how this fight goes tonight. The fight with Cerrone, in, in your mind, is it the guy that's coming down? Is, is, is Cerrone at the end of his career and you're going to take his place? Now? Is this how you're looking at the fight? Do you want to replace him? Um, I just feel I'm, I'm, I'm better than the kid. I feel I'm, I got better striking, got better grappling, got better everything. That's, that's all it is. I feel I, I, I'm, I'm better. I'm, I'm 26 years old. He's about 35, 36, and I, I, I feel I got in and, and I'll put him away. I want to ask you um, about Mike Capelli. Um, he's using some, let's say, colourful language at the moment yeah, on it, yeah. social media. <laughs> um, what have you made of that? Um, I don't know. Cause when I seen it, I was like, is it, I, I, is it mixed? I didn't know what it was. So like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's madness, I don't know. So he's like one of them guys, I like, think he's gangster, so he's what it is, don't bother me.